I present to you the Premnus bacleatus clownfish, commonly known in the hobby as the maroon clownfish. This fish can be found in the Malay Archipelago and Western Pacific Ocean north of the Great Barrier Reef, hailing from regions such as Indonesia and Sumatra. One of the more prominent morphs is the lightning morph which is characterized by broken, jagged, white body bars that have a somewhat honeycomb appearance. One of the first times this trait was observed was in a wild-caught pair from Fisherman's Island near Papua New Guinea. Now in my tank, I currently have three maroon clownfish. One of the gold stripe variety and two of the lightning morph. Maroon clownfish have a reputation in the hobby of being a somewhat aggressive fish. Now, this aggression generally takes the form of territorial behavior on the part of the maroon clownfish. I've also noticed that the maroon clownfish will accept a multitude of tank inhabitants as a host. The gold striped maroon that I have has taken up residence in Xenia in the past, and one of the lightning maroons appears to be partial to my Blastomusa colony as a home. He's also set up shop in Zoa colonies and some Discosoma mushrooms in the past. They accept a wide variety of foods from pellets to flakes to frozen mice and brine shrimp. But this one lightning has, a de has developed a taste for a particular form of meaty prey. Man. For some reason, this little monster has decided to declare war on me. I could put my hand in the tank, nowhere near him, and he will instantly become triggered and shoot across the tank and proceed to bite me mercilessly. Now this behavior seems to only happen when I put my hand in. He doesn't lose it when I place my hand near him from outside the tank, just when he knows he can get to me. Now it's definitely something to take into account when you're considering adding one to the tank. Now at this point these tanks, or rather these attacks, are just an annoyance. But maroon clownfish are purported to be able to grow to a size of six inches. Though I personally have never seen one larger than about four inches. But even at that size, I believe that a bite can definitely draw blood. My hope is that over time, he'll realize that I'm not his enemy, but odds are it'll only get worse as he grows older. Well, that's a brief look at my little monster. I just want to say thanks for taking the time to join me for this little view into my little slice of the ocean. As always, I encourage you to subscribe, give a like, and comment so that hopefully the channel can grow and we can reach a larger audience of our fellow reef keepers. Thanks for viewing and take care.